Chicago, Illinois, we have the headquarters, the global headquarters of McDonald's. Heard of it? Pretty big store. Pretty big store. Yeah. And today's video made possible by Levin Elian, a $25 donation to get whatever we want here on Number Six with Cheese. And today, a Philly Quick cheese question. stack. My car wants me to go straight. <laughs> go right. Okay. <laughs> Here's what he's talking My about. GPS. Look at this. Just that's the merchandise mark. Go straight to one more stop sign, <laughs> and I don't think it's possible. That is a gigantic building and a block. Yeah. GPS. Sorry. Sorry to interrupt the intro, guys. No, it's showing them what it's really like to make a show in this city. Mm -hmm. The Philly Cheese Stack, McDonald's headquarters here in the West Loop of Chicago, has a global menu, a bunch of stuff you can get around uh, around the world. Yep. And today, Great Britain's version of a sandwich, their Philly Cheese, which is so funny. I'm so excited to see what this is like. What's it called? The Philly Cheese Stack. Ah, uh, okay. Fun. People watching in Great Britain, let us know if this is actually an item there. Sometimes it's a little weird. They do that. They change names of stuff. But anyways, we're going to go there. Here. We, you guys should donate too. Go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. I said Great Britain before, this is United Kingdom, so all of it. The Philly cheese stack, two of them acquired a jump cut. I'm looking at our boy Ben Bolks. I wonder if Ben yeah. Bolks has ever sucked down a Philly cheese stack. What's, what'd you see there, motherfuckers? What'd you see there? All right, what are we saying? So we're heading to Mackey's. Brand new by the looks of it is a Philly like cheese steak burger. It's crispy, but my body is like, what are you doing? First floor of the Global McDonald's headquarters comes this sandwich. Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, let's see what it looks like here. Okay, I'm gonna open it up so you can see these grilled onions on there. So we got two beef patties, the bun obviously, cheese slices. Then there's also a cheese sauce, grilled onions, pickles, and crispy onions as well. The Philly cheese stack. The Philly cheese stack, baby. <laughs> it's burger meat. My wife just got back from Europe, and while she was over there, uh, she said that they, she ordered at one point a Phil's cheese steak sandwich. <laughs> Like Philly's. Yeah, it's like it was a That's Philly, great. but it was, they just on the menu it's called Phil's. I, I think there's some lost in translation moment there. It's like that's so funny. That's really funny. Phil's cheese steak. Real quick, big camera, because we got it. There's mine looking extra cheesy and melty. And I'll be honest, 699, this is looking like a big sando. Yeah, do, is, do they have bigger beef there? They might. Why dude. do I feel like this beef is thicker than usual McDonald's? It's because I always get the McDouble. Do those have smaller beef patties? I think they do, yeah. This is like almost like the quarter pound patties or something. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah. All right, six ninety nine. Like I said, the Philly cheese stack, UK. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Oh yeah, that cheese sauce is good. It's so wild having pump mm. pump cheese on a burger. Yeah, I'm still trying to decide if I'm about it or not. It's like different. The, the idea of this is great. Mm -hmm. Like all the onions, crispy and or grilled, and then so much cheese. Like mm. mine. Look at this. It might even have too much. Yeah, I think pump cheese isn't meant to be on burgers. <laughs> Are your patties dry? They're not moist, I'll tell you that much. I think because they're thicker, it's easier to tell. This is definitely not bad. It's definitely not bad, I just, by looking at it, yeah. I was expecting it to be better. I think this would sell well in America. Yeah, you better damn believe it. Like, I th it's like an American thing. Yeah. <laughs> I always love that when like, other countries start doing something like, from the states, and like the states haven't even done it yet. Like, yeah. we really don't have Philly cheesesteak burgers here. No. Right, I don't think, do we? Mm -mm. Does Philly do that? McDonald's has been hit by its first fall in global sales since the start of the pandemic in 2020. No amount of special sauce can make higher prices more palatable, as McDonald's has found out. Oh, damn! Philadelphians, let us know. Philly would probably revolt if we tried doing that at McDonald's. I almost think the cheese sauce is hurting it. I think you're right. It's too much. I like the crispy onions a lot. Mm -hmm. The crispy onions are actually really damn good. Yeah, I don't think this is something I would ever order again. No. But man, if you were drunk, like when we were in Italy and we got a bunch yeah. of menus in Italy. Well, if I this that. Would, <laughs> would be amazing. And then this is like a, they call it like a snack bucket. Yeah, it's the Tasty Basket. It's the Tasty Basket's got chicken wings, chicken nuggets, empanadas or something. This is actually a, the truest mukbang we've done in a while. This is old school Sean and Corey. Yeah. In an echoey Airbnb in Rome. Yeah, sorry about the Cheers. audio. Cheers. Cheers. Well, it's actually good barbecue sauce. Not bad at all. I mean, it's dry as 
if you and I had 15 beers from the Druid's Den, <laughs> and then we slugged down one of these. I like the idea of just trying it. Me too. Like, it's just fun to be able to say I've done all this weird mm -hmm. international food. Like, that's worth it. 100%. Well, for only $6.99, it's not a bad burger. Like, no. Yeah. It's a lot of food, too. And yeah. 2024, you're not getting screwed on the amount. A rarity. The other things on the menu right now, this was the only one in stock. They were sold out of everything. But here's what they're advertising. I love looking at the board. Mm hmm Chris Cut Chips from Malaysia. The McSpicy BLT from Singapore. The Biscoff McFlurry with Caramel from Belgium. Mm. And the Hong Kong McSpicy, which number six with cheese is already done. McSpicy Chicken Filet from Hong Kong. Cheers. Hmm. That's really good. And it's really crispy. It's really crispy. This could be what, placebo. The placebo effect. Mm hmm But it tastes crispier. It does. And a little bit spicier. You know what kind of tastes like? What? That Burger King spicy chicken sandwich we just had. Yeah, kind of. Remember does. how we were like that had better spices? Yeah. Did we do these chips? I don't remember those. I got an uncle lives in Malaysia. I'll have to ask him about them. Malaysia, beautiful country. It's stunning. Really? It's stunning. I think he has like a full chef and maid for like a nickel. Yeah, it's yeah, it's a very like um, poverty stricken yeah, area. Yeah, yeah, it's gorgeous. Right, uh, right north of Singapore. Oh wow, geography guy over here, impressive. <laughs> Man, what a weird one because like it's not bad really. It's just it's almost like flavors that aren't supposed to go together. Yeah, it's like a. I, I'm, I just keep thinking it's just more beautiful than it is delicious. Yeah. It's like a just like a a, a hottie who's bad in bed. <laughs> You know, a beautiful man with a small penis. That's really true. You That's know? really true. You know? Six foot five, beautiful male model, and then he's just genitalia of a toddler. Yeah, it's kind of like that uh, be uh, bedazzled um, scene. You must have an enormously huge talent. <gasps> oh my god. Uh, oh! Uh, hey! I played good. We wanted to play good. <laughs> well, you know, you go out there and you just give 110%, and uh, you hope you play good. Mm -hmm. And you want to play good. All that to be sad, I really liked your analogy. <laughs> Let's do some shout outs. Shout outs from five bucks, Jeffrey Schwartz, two dollars, LVVMCVMLV, ten dollars, Stacy Lynn Blue, ten dollars, Zebra Corn, twenty bucks, Rockwater Reese, ten dollars, Larry Gonzalez, and five dollars, Derek Woodrow. Some good names in there today. Yeah. And uh, some big donations, guys. It goes so long. It, really does. it helps so much. It goes so far. That's what I meant to be said. Wow, I'm having a trouble. I think the heat is killing my brain. Yeah, either that or that pump cheese. <laughs> Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to number six with cheese, turn on the bell icon for the alerts, and then a comment with you guys here today. Kind of like that was, what's a food that kind of looks good, sounds good on paper, maybe a great Instagram photo, but it kind of doesn't work tastually? I know mine. I know exactly. Uh, what comment is. yours. We'll comment ours. There's just foods like that. In hindsight, it seems great, but then it's kind of a dud. Let yep. us know. Yep. Time to rate it. Thank you. $6.99, limited time, global menu, the Philly cheese stack. Out of five, what do you give it, Alex Trebek? All right. Out of five? Okay. No, I don't care. They're getting a lot of fun points. I just think that's fun to do. All right, cut it off. On the count of three, are you ready? Yep. One, two, three, bam. bam. Yeah. I have fun points. I gave him up to a three, yeah. dude. You went below average. I think that was in a, uh, a below average food. It was if you're going on taste, that's for dang sure. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a skipper. Yep. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for being here, as always, we appreciate it. We've been doing this game for a long time. It's fun to just to meet you guys digitally and hang out and just be friends. Um, if there is a fast food item that you love, and you're like, you know what? I want to sponsor these guys to go get that. The Venmo, the PayPal, all the links below to donate. You can do that, and we'll see you again very soon for another episode. Our first video since the McNugget Fest of 2024. Oh, yeah. We're back, baby. Shh.